Good morning, fam, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm heading out to meet my mate Ian Monson. We're gonna do a little ride, maybe chat about how he transitioned from being a jeweler to now being a hardcore photographer. He's gone old school, he uses analog processes, so this is gonna be an exciting chat. I'll see you in the ride. Looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous day. It's frosty, all right. It's meant to be two degrees today. Um, so summer is officially over. But I'm really looking forward to this ride. We're Long time no see. Very long time. <laughs> so this is the beast, eh? This is this. Oh, my shadow's in the way. <laughs> so I heard it was a mission, eh? It was, man. Wrong part sent. The parts broke on the first spin. It was not very pleasant. It was a bit, a bit upsetting. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but got there in the end, and it was well worth the wait. Nice. So. <laughs> Where are we heading? Uh, we're gonna head out to Dalky. Okay. Put a little spin, float around, maybe go along the coast for a bit. See how it's going. So okay. you're you're into all the the hills, eh? Oh, I do love. It. I'm starting to like the hills. Ever since I got gears, I've been loving the hills. I'm not gonna lie. So normally you ride a fixie, right? Yeah, I do, and that's why I'd always just like tan and back. That would be yeah. my only place I'd go. Even though I live uphill, there's an uphill cycle home, which is a bit annoying. I was always wondering about that, you know, like how did you do all the hills riding a fixie? Uh, you kind of just get used to it after a while. Legs of steel. Legs of steel, that's it. <laughs> Tell me about your camera. It's a Leica M6. Yeah. Um, it was a bit of an investment, uh, but worth it, I think. Um, so my girlfriend had one, has one still, and I used it once or twice and was like, I love that, I want that. <laughs> so saved up for a good while, and um, purchased this. And I haven't looked back since, so it's like a rangefinder camera. So like, you don't look through the lens, you look through up to the side. You've got to match up like, a mirror inside matches up it's like a panel on the inside so the light comes in here and here and then this basically lights up and then you can see through that so it's a bit of a weird system but it's fun i like it What got you into photography? Um, Why switch from jewelry to photography? I wouldn't say switch. Like I still, the jewelry's still there. Yeah. But I don't know. I got like I've always liked photography. I gave my whole family. My uncle was in the photography club. My mom worked in like the chemist and photo process and like when she was younger and stuff. So like, and they've always taken photographs. Even my granddad was into photography. Had like all the old cameras and stuff. But I don't know. I got. I got a camera when I was like 15, I got a digital SLR and was always like shooting with it every now and again. And then it wasn't until like, I don't know, maybe like two years ago, I got a new lens for that. And that kind of like sparked it again, where I was kind of like a bit more interested in it. And then I was in a pub one night and I was talking to, which is now my girlfriend, and um, I was talking to her about like wanting to do a project and I was like I'd love to shoot on the film and she was like oh yeah well like you know and started giving me pointers and stuff because she studied photography oh, really? and her whole family is like they ran a film processing lab down in court and everything so like the whole family like, even the, the granddad now has like his own dark room and stuff in his house that's so dope yeah it's pretty sweet so like I got a camera and then like kind of like me and her 
on like a first few sort of dates we go on like photo walks. Oh, that's so cool. We'd, like buy a roll of film, go for a walk around town, take a photograph, and then drop it back off, jump on, and get it processed. And then, yeah, that was like our first few times kind of like hanging out. And then it just kind of spiraled from there. I just got real into photography then. I don't know, like shooting digital, I found. I was just taking loads of photographs, but there was no real aim to them. Yeah. It was just kind of like, oh, I'm just going to go out and shoot a random thing. And have these piles of photographs and not be happy with any of them. And then when I started shooting film, it started kind of like slowing down a bit and getting more into like learning about like composing and like all that kind of stuff and kind of get more into it. And then it just kind of spiraled, I suppose, from there. And then just got into like medium format then. And then recently got a large format camera, which is like just ridiculous. That thing is a beast. It is a bit of a beast. Like it's just a bit like it's huge, but it's fun, and it's just like everyone's been really nice. Like I've, there's loads of people like have been telling me I can take their portrait. So that's kind of like what I'm doing at the moment. So I'm doing like a little like a portrait project thing. Yeah. And I was going to do it on the medium format, and then I I always wanted to get a large format. I just always liked it. it's real slow kind of process and stuff. Um, and yeah, I got one. I was like, I'll start doing the project on this, and then everyone's been really nice where. I'll tell them about it. I'm just like, oh, I'm shooting on 4x5. And they're like, what's that? And I send them a picture of the camera. And they're like, I'm definitely here for that, man. Because <laughs> they just want to see the camera. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most recently, I took a photograph from Martin, who works in the sitting room of Delahun. Yeah. Cocktail bar. And I was in there. And he was just like walking around the camera, like taking photographs. But like, this is mad. Like, he was just like real into it. And then same with like my Hunter, who's like my first friend that they took a portrait of. And she was just like, this is mad. Like, look at it. Like, everyone, it just kind of like, it's just something different. Yeah. But I don't know, man. There's just like the, the process with it is nice. Like you gotta use a tripod, it's real slow. It's mad because you're like under a hood <laughs> and the image you're looking at is upside down because yeah, it's just going yeah, straight, it's just kind of mad and like you gotta get focusing right. And there's all these weird settings and it's like a real like you know, you're taking a picture of someone, it takes a good few minutes just to take a single photo. Um but like yeah, just it's fun and there's like nothing really compares like I've been shooting on slide film. So when you like process it, you have like this big four by five negative, but it's like positive, so you can hold it up to the light and see the actual image, like it's in color and stuff. So that's been pretty wild. And yeah, just kind of, just felt, it's just been a mad obsession, just spiral. And it's just kind of, it's nice, like gets me out of the house and stuff, like go out for spins, take photographs, hang out with friends. It's a bit nicer, just kind of, kind of socialize with it. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like me to do more, more content like this where I interview creatives in Dublin, do let me know in the comments and do all that other stuff like subscribe and let others know. I'll see you in the next video.